Most Republicans are too ignorant to accept that global warming is both a fact and it is man-made. The fact is global temperatures are rising drastically. 2009 will be the hottest on record. Republicans like to cite that four or five of our 50 states during summer of 2009 were cooler than normal. That's 10%. Not to mention the rest of the world. Here's the painful reality, and the inescapable facts, not conjecture by pinheads. August 1st, 2009, Campo de Gibraltar. It's hardly news that it's hot. What is news, though, is that the average daytime temperature in the Campo de Gibraltar has been over 40 degrees centigrade for 20 days in the month. They also broke records for humidity and evaporation rates. Tuesday, September 1st, 2009. It's official. Austin smashes 155-year summer heat record. Austin Mabry, warmest months of August since 1854. Notice the top three are all in the last decade, with the hottest being now, in 2009. Only a kook or moron tries to refute facts. Sunday, August 30, 2009. This is already the hottest summer in Austin's history, shattering the previous record, but the sweltering city might not be done setting dubious milestones in 2009. It's adding up to be the hottest June through August, known as the meteorological summer, since records were first kept in 1854. This summer's average temperature of 88.6 degrees is almost two degrees hotter than the previous milestone. According to the National Weather Service, a remarkable jump in a record that is usually broken by tenths of a degree. But what about across the globe? August 24, 2009, the highest ever August temperature for New South Wales has been recorded amid a day of extreme weather across the nation. Evans Head on the New South Wales north coast reached 36.8 Celsius as temperatures soared up to 15 degrees above average in other parts of the region. The record capped off a day of wildly fluctuating weather throughout the state, with Sydney's unseasonably warm temperatures quickly followed by damaging gale force winds. August 24, 2009, Sunshine Coast beaches have been kept busy as August temperature records tumble, with the mercury pushing past 34 Celsius. The Ruchador temperatures peaked at 34.3 degrees Celsius, dwarfing the August record of 30.1 degrees Celsius, set on August 25, 2006. August 25, 2009. Heat waves out west are getting worse as the climate changes, a new study finds. A study in 2007 found European heat waves are nearly twice as long as they were a century ago, and the number of hot summer days there have tripled. As heat waves worsen, more energy is used to run air conditioners. If the electricity is generated using fossil fuels, this could also mean even more emissions of heat-trapping gases that cause climate change. Scientists wrote in the Journal of Applied Meteorology and Climatology last year. In 2008, California experienced an unusually early heat wave in May. They noted some 119 new daily high temperature records were set during the May heat wave including the earliest day in the year in which Death Valley temperatures reached 120 degrees Fahrenheit on May 19, beating the old record of May 25, set in 1913. In Phoenix, this July was the hottest on record, with the average of all highs and lows for the month being 98.3 degrees. One reason, meteorologists said, overnight lows were much warmer than normal. June 22, 2009, record heat wave for Southeast Florida, Father's Day. July 29, 2009, Seattle is bracing for its hottest day on record. 
100 degrees Fahrenheit on Wednesday as a heat wave grips the Pacific Northwest. 100 is the all-time record for Seattle for any day, for any month, for any year, according to University of Washington professor Cliff Mass. August 28, 2009. Temperatures are expected to be well above normal today at Death Valley National Park, where it could hit 122. The heat is most noticeable near the Arctic, where water temperatures are as much as 12 degrees above average. The tongues of warm water could help melt sea ice from below and even cause thawing of ice sheets on Greenland, said Walid Abdullahi director of Earth Sciences and Observation Center at the University of Colorado. Breaking heat records in water is more ominous as a sign of global warming than breaking temperature marks on land, because water takes longer to heat up and does not cool off as easily as land. This warm water we're seeing doesn't just disappear next year, it'll be around for a long time said climate scientist Andrew Weaver of the University of Victoria in British Columbia. It takes five times more energy to warm water than land. Earth headed for record-setting heat after 2009, study says. August 9, 2009. The Earth is headed for a record-setting heat wave after 2009, a team of UK climate experts said in the first such report based on observations from recent years. Each year from 2010 through 2014 has at least a 50% chance of being warmer than 1998, the hottest on record. Researchers led by Doug Smith of the Met Office, a government weather forecasting agency based in Exeter, said today in the journal Science. By focusing on the next few years, rather than the longer time frame in earlier studies, the new report adds urgency to the challenge of reducing emissions that heat the atmosphere, Smith said. Since 2007, no scientific body of national or international standing has maintained a dissenting opinion. Don't listen to kooks and morons. When a kook tells a moron something, it gets passed on to other delicate idiots and perpetuates stupidity, not reason and logic. Facts are always better than kooks' theories lifted from other morons. Global warming is a man-made reality, and we must face it now and reduce our emissions. Otherwise, heat will increase at exponential rates without any question whatsoever. Not a natural cycle of events.